Sky Profit, baby. Back with another video, man. Hope your day going good. Hope you are keeping yourself in a in a serene mind space. You know, when I say serene, just just quiet, so you can understand your connection, so you can see what you need to see, so you can comprehend what you need to comprehend. I'm sending blessings, guidance, and protection, integrity, strength, focus, and understanding each individual out there. No exceptions. Never no exceptions is, is never going to be no exceptions when prophets say that. And it's important that each individual understand that. A couple of quick words for you. Everything has life. Okay? Therefore, everything has a purpose. Everything has meaning. So when you trying to perceive your creator you remember he is big as you allow him to be within your mind frame that fear of god you got to dismiss it all right whether it was misinterpretations throughout history whether it was the intentional steering you wrong throughout history whether it was you just inhabiting and perceiving certain things in a certain way on your own. You gotta understand all of this deceit, the deception, the energies that that brings, okay? That's not source, that's not your creator, okay? That's energies that humans took upon themselves to use as far as control, greed, all of these different type of things. That's individual things that individuals chose to do, okay? Just the same way as you thinking that you would go to hell, you choosing to establish that truth within yourself, okay? This is important because it's a lot of barriers that's up for individuals because individuals thinking of the word punishment with God, you know, all of these other words other than love, and it's just love, all right? Now, I want you to think about what happens whenever you exude this negative energy, when you exude this energy of hate, energy of trying to, you know, get over the next individual, whatever, that old, that old, that old dark energy. You know, what do you experience whenever you, you know, portraying these energies? You understand? What you get back? That's not God. That's not source. That's not your creator sending that to you. That's you getting back the energies that you building with your intentions. That's exactly what it is. Now, any individual that's not fixed within self, like we always have always did, we blame others. We blame other things other than ourselves. So I want everybody to, to understand that. It's, 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 it's no fear of God that you have to have. It's no fear of God that you have to have. All you have to do is understand to have pure intentions. You need to understand that the bad intentions that you put out is what you bring upon yourself. See that wrath that, that comes upon you? It's because it's a wrath that you're putting out. You know, we all know that. Let's let's just have common sense and just ask a, a, a common question about that. Why would you receive a wrath? Why would anybody receive a wrath? They have to be bringing one. They got to be entangled within that. So it's important that you understand that, man. It's a lot of things that you're going to hear. It might go over you a little bit. You might not get it to the fullest. But if it touches your soul, if it grabs your attention... You got to give it a place within your reality. You got to give it a chance. You got to walk through the door to understand things for yourself. We got this saying that if I could, I would. What that consist of? That consists of what? If I had the opportunity, I think I can get it done. Right? Or I will get it done. Okay. This is that time for everybody. If you could, then do it. 
If you would, then set your free will right. Let your intentions be pure. Let them be good. You done lived on the other side of the spectrum, just as prophet has. We don't have to live bad every day. We just live within these emotions and these certain cycles of life. It breaks individuals down. It gives individuals a lack and less mentality to think within. It's all accumulated and it's all perceived within self. But it's the ways of this earth, of the ways of this world, is that's how it's been working. So it's is 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 vital, bro, that you get intact with your innate, with your higher self. You know, they got this word called spirit say contemplating. You know, like that's not even that's not even a real thing, contemplating. What you doing is having a debate. You and your higher self. You and spirit. That's what the contemplation is. That's that's what that that's what it's all about. You always had that because you always did that. You always had that intuition. You just was blocked from understanding that everything lies within you. That's the thing that you can't ever forget when you open your eyes. You've been blocked from realizing and being shown that you have that ability inside of yourself for each and everything to overcome it to know it, to bring yourself into wherever you need to be, you got to realize that that's what you hold within yourself. It's a lot of things going to try to come in the way. There's a lot of individuals with intentions. They, they, their intentions is zero, you know, as far as a better place, wanting better for the next individual. So you have to base yourself on what you know within yourself, what you feel and understand about yourself, around yourself. Your connection, it's clearer than it can ever be right now if you allow everything to be cleared out of the way. Clear everything out of the way. How you do that, prophet? Like, I want to connect the spirit, but like, how? Listen, you're listening now. You connected to spirit. When you led to listen to things like this, when you were led to these encouraging things to say all of these things, man, when you see encouraging things, it's all spirit. It's all spirit. Spirit is love. Spirit wants you to grow and understand things, man. Energy is provided for you. Anybody, when you got up this morning, you was tired or whatever, but you still had the energy to get up. You had the energy to get up. Like you, you didn't have to be stagnant. If you were, if you didn't come to earth in that manner, it's choices that we make and we got to start stepping up to that because if you don't understand the choices that you make, then you can't understand the reality that you create. You can't understand your wants. You can't even understand what it's about. Okay. So that fear, don't have that fear because you're going to start thinking, oh, I can't do certain things. Oh, I can't go there. Oh, I can't say, oh, this and that. It's, it's, it's rules that applies. It's, it's no rules that applies. It's oneness. It's we all one. We all on that lesson phase. We all on that learning from each other phase. We all on that coming to the understanding that we come to earth to help others, not help self. At your core, you everything. You everything. You got God inside of you. It's nothing that you really want. It's nothing that you can even desire that you would even want like that. You have God inside of you. That's everything. You come to help others. You come to reach that stage within yourself, that elevated frequency, vibration within yourself to pick up that ability that you have and start distributing and helping. That's what we all come here for. Different forms, different manners, different times, different places. It's all the same, though. It's all the same. Whether the person got a billion dollars or whether the person got ten dollars. His intentions toward that other billionaire and your intentions toward that other individual with ten dollars is no different. It's no different. It's just looked that different. And that's where everybody be mixed up at. 
you know, like it used to be. The one that looked good and all this, talk good, all that, that was the one that was all put together and that's who you're supposed to respect. You gotta listen to that and you know the the the, the owner of one of these franchises, like if you run across him, like you gotta respect him in a certain way and he ain't gonna tell you no lie. Like it's certain things that you just picked up through your teachings in life, man, that 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 don't even apply, man. It don't apply. It don't apply. Pick up the knife, make a little tear. If blood come out, shit the same. Shit the same. Everything that change after that is the consciousness of self, the consciousness of the heart in the individual, and what that individual reflects out into this world. Because a billion dollars, not helping nobody, you never helped yourself. You never helped yourself. Think about that, and that's not even being in a, you can't even look at that in a selfish way. If you can accumulate that and not help somebody, do you think you actually helped yourself? You didn't. That's why it makes no sense for you to think that you can bring it with you. It makes no sense. It doesn't even have a place. See, the things that we come to pick up on this earth, it's things that's eternal. It's things that we, we, you always going to have with you. No matter what or where, it's with you, it's a part of you, it, it, it's there. But these other things of this earth, they're going to be here when you come back and forth. They're just going to be here. It's always going to be here. That's things. You call that things. That knowledge that you have, that's tools. That's not just things. That's not things there. You know? Protect your energy, protect yourself to and from, watch your surroundings, watch what you're taking your ears, watch what you give out your mouth. Help somebody if you can. Give somebody some words of encouragement if you can. Prophet got words of encouragement, man. Listen to me, bro. You blend and mix with nature, with the biology of this planet. You do. Your vessel, your consciousness, your energy. It mixes with this earth, this planet, this grid, this world, this galaxy, this universe, whatever you want to, however you put it. Okay, you have purpose, you have placement on this earth. You have purpose and you have placement on this earth. You meaningful, you meaningful. The world will teach you that you're not. The world will teach you that you're meaningful just to a certain point. Listen to prophet, wise words. If you are embedded in that kind of blueprint, for this earth that your soul get to come back and catch within these vessels to learn and evolutionize this earth think about how special you are every hair on your head every thought you think spirit knows all of that spirit knows all these things man every individual on this every individual walking man the ones not walking the ones not you don't even see knows all of that. And that's what you hold within yourself. That's the kind of bond you have to this earth. That's the kind of bond you have to biology, to physics, to science, to life, to this lifetime specifically. You in the shift this lifetime. See, next lifetime the shift gonna be then took place. But you within it now. Take heed, bro. Show people the right way. Correct the shit that you know ain't cool. Listen, a laugh, a laugh, don't make some shit that's not cool, okay? I'm going to say it again. A laugh does not make some shit that's not cool, okay, bro? Till next time, man. Love, love everybody, bro. Twice today. Sky Prophet, baby. Ah, peace out.